let's talk a little bit more about the Gauss Infinite battery. I've received some more information from Gauss and it seems to be a really impressive company with really impressive product. And I can see many reasons to buy a Gauss battery case instead of an original battery. The first is of course that you can repair it when it breaks and that is amazing. Very few brands offer that kind of thing. Even finding a charging port is impossible for most big brands like Yamaha or Bosch or Shimano. You have to buy a whole new battery. And another thing is battery safety. They have done many different tests on this. I asked for different tests and they have done it all including drop test and this is one of the most massive well-built cases I have seen so far. I think this can handle being run over by a literal tank. It might break the plastic details but you still might be able to repair it and that is simply amazing. And then I saw the fire testing where they actually drilled screws into the battery case. And I was wondering where all the smoke would come out. And that is the pressure vent here, which is also a smoke vent. They have proof that it works and it works amazing. And the third reason you might want to use this if you like to have a smart battery and have full control over it. Uh, now they do have an app which is pretty good and actually works. It's not the most advanced Bluetooth app. You can't really set the low vo voltage cutoff or high voltage cutoff. And I don't see any function where you can actually see every cycle, how much is discharged, how much capacity it has. But I'm pretty sure they're probably working on a more advanced app for the users that want that. But you can at least see all the individual cell voltages, which is very good if you plan to use refurbished cells. This pack offers a lot of things, especially if it, they can get it compatible with Yamaha or Yamano or Bafang and modern Bosch batteries. There are a few things though. I would like to see it in a black case, especially since the connecting parts are black. I asked them if they were working on a 21700 version and they said yes. That would be awesome because now you can replace a 500 watt hour battery with another 500 watt hour battery. But if they can do it with 21700 cells, you can increase that to maybe 700 watt hours. And then you can really build a really good battery, far superior than anything Bosch, Yamaha or Yamasa even offers. Yeah, I see good things in the future for Ghost. They really have a high quality product. Yeah, I look, look forward to what Ghost is up to next. I hope for a black case or 21700 compatible cases. That would be awesome. So I see no reason to not buy it if you can afford it and want a battery that lasts a long time. I forgot to mention the probably the most spectacular part about the Gauche battery is that they have water protection that I have never seen before. They have water protection that I really believe works because the case is just two parts, really large aluminum pieces and they have a really large rubber list protecting it and then they have the discharge connector and they have a similar rubber list against that and on the front those screws don't go all the way in they're just for fastening the front you don't really need a rubber list in the front so i think they are pretty much set on water protection and since they have done underwater tests for one hour or more and seen there is no water inside the battery this is probably the most waterproof battery I've seen and I've seen a lot, especially e-boards and uh, surfboards and many other things that are supposed to be watertight aren't really watertight. The weak point in most batteries is the indicator and they do not have a button on the indicator. It's usually the button that fails and leaks in water. So the water protection on this is spectacular. I haven't tested it myself. I might do it in the future. And I also wanted to show you how beautiful it is. It's actually two large PCBs with cutout holes and a pin on the inside holding the cells together. And I don't know if you can see it, but they actually stick out a little bit, adding pressure to the cells. They've done some vibration test and they found no gaps in um, power. So their method of connecting the cells without spot welding also works. I've put it back in now so I can finish this video. It's taken several days. I don't usually do sponsored content, but this is 
I really wanted to get my hands on this. I do not like the reusing Anderson connector. They are very large and bulky and this design I guess they like the Bosch power pack which has the power connector on the side but there are far better connectors like the XT60 they could easily use because I find it pretty tricky to put them in here perfectly and then closing up the case. But once you've done it a few times maybe you can build it in 5 minutes. The 5 to 10 minute build time is maybe a little misleading that if, if you're an expert and I'm an expert in building batteries but it took me almost half an hour the first time I saw it but I wanted to look at everything and feel at everything and you probably want to do that too so don't expect it to be a five minute job uh, expect it to be a good half hour and um, then you can take a beer if you're done early yeah you shouldn't stress battery building not even when it's this simple go buy your ghost today